Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about In the past videos, we've talked about the Chinese Navy and Air Force massive building overdrive. To catch with this, Chinese aircraft engine manufacturing has also stepped up its game. Now China is planning to face out all Russian made engines on its aircraft on the J11, J15 and the J10. Now the Chinese Air Force has begun to re-engine its aircraft with indigenous WS-10C turbofan engines. In the late 2000s, China's aviation industry has began producing fighters broadly on par with their Russian counterparts in terms of performance, like the J-10 and J-11. But at that time, China has no choice but to use Russian AL-31 engine as the domestically developed engine is not yet ready for service. Since then, Chinese import of Russian aircraft has stopped, with only the exception of the purchase of SU-35 in 2015. But it was mostly due to China wanting to get their hands on the SU-35's AL-41 thrust vectoring engine, and then probably reverse engineer it. Also, it was China's gauge to evaluate whether if their domestically built aircrafts like the J-16, J-15, and the J-11 is on par with Russia's most advanced flanker, the SU-35. Apparently, China was pleased with their own aircraft's capabilities as the SU-35 is rarely used by China. It's probably because the SU-35 is not integrated in Chinese indigenous vast network of aircraft, satellites, air defense, sensors, etc. Now it seems the Chinese engine are very reliable that they plan to replace all Russian-made engine used on their aircrafts. This even including all the J-10C. This means China believes its engine is now very reliable, because if the engine is not reliable enough, it could pose a huge risk for the fighter jet like the J-10, who has a single engine to rely on, unlike the double engine like the J-11, J-15, or J-16, who could still fly if one engine fails. The latest indigenous Chinese engine on the J-20 is proof to this prowess. The indigenous engine made by the J-20, the only supercruise capable fifth-generation fighter to be both operational and in production worldwide, meaning it could fly supersonically without using its afterburners and compromising stealth. China is also working on a new engine that could fly at Mach 9 or 9 times faster than the speed of sound using kerosene-powered hypersonic engine. This could be achieved by using unique detonation wave engine. The engine generates thrust via detonating kerosene in a series of explosions instead of continually combustion like on today's engine. The Chinese-designed hypersonic engine runs on RP-3 jet fuel. This is similar to the jet A-1 aviation fuel used by commercial airlines in the U.S. The hypersonic detonation wave engine successfully underwent ground tests in Beijing. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.